Evening everyone, it's Marty the Mad Magpie here. I'm sorry I'm a bit late with the uh, match review this afternoon, but here I am. Better late than never, that's what I always say. Final whistle blows at Old Trafford, and uh, nil nil is the score between Newcastle and Manchester United. But before we go into that, guys, if you want to see more of Marty the Mad Magpie, more of my videos, and you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, just hit the subscribe button, you're more than welcome. And uh, if you watch any of my videos and you like what you see, drop us a like, guys, it would be much appreciated. And uh, if you want to share any of my videos with any of your friends on Facebook, on Twitter, whatever you want to do, you're more than welcome as well. And uh, like I say, guys, if you don't like the videos as well, you feel free to give us a dislike. You can leave a comment as well on any of my videos, including today's one, and uh, just let me know what you think of the video, of the subjects that's on there, anything you like. It's entirely up to you. Marty the Mad Magpie does not mind at all. Okay, so, nil-nil at Old Trafford, and I'll be honest with you, I would have took a draw before today's game, because it's an awkward place to go, Manchester United, they're not... I don't know why they're even called Manchester United, because they're not even in fucking Manchester. They're in fucking Salford, for Christ's sake. But there you go. That's another story. So, I would have took a draw before kick-off. But like many Newcastle fans, like a few that went down today, and uh, I hope they enjoyed the day at Old Trafford, we go there, we're hungry to beat Manchester United. And, you know, this is a Manchester United side who have been under some real pressure uh, over the last few, well, I'm going to say the last few years, really, um, uh, since old uh, Sir Alex Redface Ferguson packed in, um, that they haven't been the they haven't been the same since that old sod uh, left his bloody seat. It's uh, they've just been a shadow of themselves, particularly this season. And uh, you know, Eric Ten Hag would have tried to fire them up before the game, but. Manchester United, they looked very pedestrianised uh, right from the word go in the first half. I thought we were the better team in the first half. Uh, we had a, a, a dubious penalty appeal turned down by VAR. I've had a look at it. Personally, I think it is. It's a soft penalty, but it's a penalty in my personal opinion. But VAR checked it and uh, they thought it wasn't a penalty. But come on, Marty, man. What are you saying, man? You don't get penalties at Old Trafford. The home team gets penalties. We you don't get penalties, nor does any other team to hear them on because it's, uh, you know, Manchester United, Manchester United, aren't they? You know, and I think, uh, you know, I think VAR and the referees probably having a bit of a discussion saying, well, can I give a penalty here, man? It's Old Trafford, man. Think about the bad and all that. But never mind about that. <laughs> Another one there. So, first off, yeah, we were great. We had a really good... Two good chances from Joe Linton to score. He headed the, put a header against the bar. It's come back out when he's headed it. And how unlucky can you get? He hits the fucking post from that opportunity. The bar, then the post. In the second half, Almiron, he's leaning back when he hits a shot. It goes over the bar. Should have scored. But there you go. It's an opportunity, but it went big. And on another day, he probably would have thrashed it in the back of the net. Joe Willock had another good chance as well. And uh, Manchester United... Yeah, they had uh, a couple of opportunities. One in particular was well saved from Nick Pope, from Anthony. It's, uh, but apart from that, no, nah, not much, uh, not much action from Manchester United. Apart from in the last few minutes, moments of the game. Sorry, when uh, Marcus Rashford was in, put his shot wide. Again, he was off the pace today. Coming on, I think they brought him on too late. And uh, I think on another day he might have scored, but that would have been a lucky win for Manchester United. Because uh, I think who deserved to win today, I think out of the two teams, and I'm not being biased here, but I think Newcastle United deserved to win today with the chances that they had. And the way they played, their movement on the field was good in the first half in particular. Second half, I thought we we uh, we went off the pace a little bit. But, you know, there's a, there's a difference because Manchester United, for all they are looking like a very pedestrianised team at the minute, you know, they can pick you off. And they can, uh, it can be one t one moment of magic. We've got some really good players there. I'm not going to say great players because they're not great players. They're good players. And uh, Newcastle got great players. Manchester United, good players at this moment in time. 
but uh, I'm sure they'll get better as time goes on with Eric Ten Hag if he's given the time. But I thought our performance today was excellent and as I said, a draw, a fair result and I would have taken a draw going into this game. And we've got some big games coming up as well and uh, I think there would have been a few people, you know, look, raised eyebrows that we were... We were used all our substitutes today, you know, Chris Wood, Joe Willock, uh, Matty Target came on. Um, Chris Wood also came on as well. And, you know, we've had to use them because, you know, we need, we've got three games this week, haven't we? We've played Manchester United, we've got Everton midweek and then Tottenham next Sunday. It's getting all these games in before the World Cup. It's, it's manic at the minute, but... Uh, you want to keep your players for that. So I can understand Eddie Howe doing that. Um, but there'll be a few people out there saying we keep them on. And try and go for the win. But if we'd lost, he, the, the same people would have said, well, why did you keep them on? You know, you should have took them off. But uh, never mind about that. You know, I, I look at this game. It's nil-nil. It's a massive point away from home. It's at Old Trafford. And uh, we're going to look forward now to, uh, to Wednesday against uh, Everton. And then if we can get a result there, against the Toffees, then we look forward to going down to Tottenham and uh, hopefully getting a better result than we did last year against them, which was one to forget. Um, I mean, I watched that game, particularly the, that day. We didn't Tottenham didn't play, play particularly well that day but it was so, because we were so bad defensively. But there you go. It's in the past. It's over now. We'll look forward to that game on next Sunday and, of course, the game on Wednesday against Everton. But uh, just to wrap it up there today, guys, I'm really happy with the way we played. I thought it was a good, solid performance. We had a couple of chances on another day they might have went in. Today, they didn't. That's the way it is. And uh, that's just the way I look at it. I mean, if, you know, if's a big word, isn't it? You know, I mean, if the king had, if the king had a bloody fanny, he'd be queen, wouldn't he? That's just the way of it, you know. And, uh, that's Marty the Mad Magpie. Uh, I'm just going to leave it there for you all today, guys. I'm not going to take up too much more of your time, but enjoy the rest of your weekend. And if you're on your way back from Old Trafford today, have a fantastic journey back. Have a safe journey back. And uh, hope you're having a couple of uh, nice ones if you're on the buses coming back. If you're driving, don't drink and drive, guys. Don't do that. Not worth it. Okay. Have a Coke or something like that. Coca-Cola, that is, you know. Oh, dear me, some guys getting excited there, don't do it. No. But uh, like I said, if you're heading back from Manchester, have a safe journey home. And uh, if whatever you're up to tonight, guys, enjoy your Sunday evening. And Marty the Mad Magpie will be back with you midweek with a match reaction to uh, the Everton game. And any news coming out in Newcastle United, I will bring it to you first hand, whatever it may be. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up there, but uh, if you want to see more of Marty the Mad Magpie, as I said at the start of the video, yeah, you're more than welcome to watch my channel. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. It's entirely up to you. And uh, if you want to give us a like, and if you want to share me videos with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do, even you know personal messages saying, hey, have a look at this guy, he's fantastic. And uh, you know it's entirely up to you what you want to do. And uh, if you want to leave a comment about today's game, what did you think of the match? Were you at Old Trafford? What did you make of it? The atmosphere sounded absolutely fantastic from what I could hear. Do you know that's something I've missed out? I'm just going to add that before I go off air. Uh, Manchester United fans, fucking hell, what are they like? You know, all you could hear was Newcastle United fans in the background. They never stopped singing. Do you know, it's it, in Manchester United, the only time them fuckers move is when they score. And that's the way I see it. I've been to games at Old Trafford in the past, and it's true. The only time them bastards move is when they score. You never hear a bloody whimper out of them. Do you know, if you'd gone there today, if it had been Manchester United and Arsenal, I think it probably would have been like a mausoleum. I think it would have been so quiet, you wouldn't have been able to hear anything. You'd be able to hear the players shouting on the pitch. That's how bad it is with some of these football clubs out there. But Newcastle fans, well done today. You sung your hearts out at Old Trafford. And uh, you've been the 12th man at Old Trafford today. But uh, Manchester United fans, fucking hell, where's your singing voices gone? <laughs> what am I saying? You've never actually had them, have you? Anyway, wrapping it up there, guys. Marty the Mad Magpie signing off. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Catch up with you all soon. Bye-bye for now. All the best to you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.